all right guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing great i'm doing a lot better um i just want to come on here quickly um i think new year's is in like or like six days maybe no i don't know what i'm talking about christmas is in like two days so new year's is in like i don't know a week or something you guys can calculate um but i did want to do um a really fun festive um new year's it's really different than what i would typically do um and it's just like a silvery purpley um eye and sorry the lighting is really horrible i kind of broke one of my lights um so it's really awkward um but it's definitely something that's really different than what i would typically do um and then i just paired it with this nude lip um and yeah it's really fun and again like so simple so 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 simple and just really highlighted and really glowy because you want to look just sparkly and just bomb on new year's but yeah so um i think that's all and if you guys want to get this look i don't know why i keep moving my hands but it's a habit if you guys want to get this look then go ahead and keep on watching and if you guys like what you see go ahead and thumbs up hit that subscribe button please maybe it's over there maybe it's down there i don't know where it is just hit the button you know where it is i don't know um and then also just comment and let me know what you guys think follow me on snapchat and instagram at Estrella. and um yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoy bye Mwah. All right, let's get started. So first, let's just acknowledge that our nails look really bad, really, really bad. And um, yeah, so then I'm going to go in with my foundation. And this is um, in the color D6, and it's by BH Cosmetics. And it was really inexpensive, um, and that's why I purchased it. I just wanted to see what, how it was. Um, and it's really, really, really dewy as a dewy finish. Um, so if you want something that's not um, matte, then definitely would go for this. But if you're definitely someone that wants something that's more matte, then I definitely would not um go for this foundation but i'm just going to go ahead and blend it in with this flat top brush from bh cosmetics and i love this brush and then i'm going to go ahead and use my nars creamy concealer in the color amandi i believe and i'm just going to put that under my eyes um and down the bridge of my nose and on my chin my cupid's bow and then on like the side of my jaw just to kind of um, make my contour stand out a bit more and i'm going to go in and blend it out with my damp um cosmetic sponge from real techniques i love this sponge so much like so much especially when you wet it it's just like oh it's life okay so i'm just going to blend that out all over and then just for um a little bit more of like a highlight and like thickness i'm going to go in with my maybelline fit me concealer in the color 30 and I'm gonna blend that out as well and I just put this on top just because the NARS concealer is a bit like sheer in my opinion um so I just put this on top just to kind of thicken it up and kind of brighten it up a bit and then I'm gonna go in with this contour and blush palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna use like this like creamy color to set my under eye and I love 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 this stuff to set my under eye and i'm using this um other like angled brush from bh cosmetics and i literally love this stuff to set under my eye like i love it love it love it i love it like more than i love my midnight banana powder oh my god it's just really the bomb then i'm gonna go in with my queen collect my covergirl queen collection and this is in the color i think like dark it's like the color like before the ebony. I wish that I had the ebony, but I do not. So, but this color really warms up my skin and I really like it. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deep. And then I'm going to contour a bit with that same contour palette. Um, and yeah, I'm just using this angled brush by BH Cosmetics. I'm using a lot of their products in this video. Well, not a lot, but like a couple. And then I'm just going to go back in with that highlight again just to reset it. I love this stuff so much. I kind of wish that I could just buy that, like, that color individually. Then I'm going to go in with this Wild and Radiant um, highlighting palette. And I'm using all four of those. I'm mixing them. And, oh, my God. Like, I kept saying, yes, yes. This color, like, this combination of these, they're so bomb. And this was so inexpensive. Like, I was so surprised. I could not believe it. And, like, the quality is just bomb.com. I love it, love it, love it. Then I'm going to go in 
with the Carly Bibo palette. Love this palette. I'm going to go in with that deep purplish color. And I don't know why it was coming off like really like silverish, but it was, I thought it was going to be like a little like more like matte if, or like the colors would be like less shimmery because they look like that in the palette, but it came off pretty shimmery, which was totally fine. Um, so I just use this as my transition color and I just pop that in with this BH cosmetic brush as well. And then I'm going to go in with this palette by BH Cosmetics, no, Coastal Scents. And I'm going to go in with this silvery gray color. I'll be using like a couple different silvers, um, but I'll be going with this silverish gray color. And then just, just applying that to my lid and kind of blending it up because I wanted it to be like really like just a grading effect, like really blended and stuff. And then I'm going to go in with this lighter um, silvery white color um, on my inner on the inner part of my eye and like on my tear duct I literally love this combination at first I wasn't too sure but I love it then I'm going with this purple color um by by uh, coastal scents and just pop that right on top of my um the crease color and just blend that out and I think I added like a couple of different purples just to kind of give me some dimension And then I was trying to apply some, this like brow bone color, but it was like really white. So I kind of blended it away. Um, but I didn't really need anything on my eyebrows, but I just kind of want to set that, <laughs> my concealer on my brow bone. And then I went ahead and added like this darker, like brown, black color just to deepen up my crease a bit. And then went back in with that silver color just to make sure it was um, still intense. Like the color was still intensified. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Love this stuff so much. It tastes horrible, but it's really, like, I love this stuff. And then I'm going to go in with my lashes, and I think I'm using a Style by Salon Perfect. I'm not sure of the name, but any lashes that are really long and flirty would be, like, perfect for this look. So, and I'm just going to go ahead and put those on with just some tweezers. And it took me a while. My eyes kept watering, so, yeah. And that's it for the eyes. So now we're just going to move on to the lips. Oh, I'm doing a slow-mo. Okay. Okay. And my eyeliner was a little um, crooked because I, my eyes kept watering and it was just messing it up. But And the, the eyeliner that I chose was pretty much like a really high wing. But I didn't necessarily need an eyeliner in this. Um, but I'm going to go in with this brown lipstick by Color Mates. And I think the color is called Coco. And I'm just going to go on the outer parts of my lips before I go in with my lipstick. I'm going to go in with this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. And I think this color was Sandstorm. It's, yeah, it's called Sandstorm. And I just put that on the center of my lips and then just blended it out. And this is a matte color, but I don't know. I think, I don't know if I put lip gloss on it or I didn't. I don't know, but it didn't go matte. But this color is actually really, really matte. I love these lipsticks so much and they're really inexpensive. So I definitely would try these out if I were you guys. And that is the finished look. Really simple, really beautiful. You guys definitely have to try this out. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to subscribe, please. Love you guys. Bye.